Welcome to OCD Hi-Fi Guy, and uh, got a little something for you today. Uh, I think we're going to take a little trip down the Magnapan way. Um, one of my favorite speakers. I've loved them forever. Um, I consider them one of the, the best bargains in Hi-Fi today, especially their little ones. Um, are, are absolutely, uh, for the money, unbeatable speakers. The amount of sound that comes out of these things and what they do for the, for the price is, is incredible. And uh, so it's always, uh, I, I've had them for the last, mm, I don't know, 15 years or so. Anyways, um, but I'm OCD crazy man, and I like to pull things apart and get under the hood and, you know, piss people off, I guess. So, um, but you know what? It's because I love it, man. And people don't understand. If, if, if you don't, if you don't, for anybody, it's, man, it's a car, a motorcycle, anything. If you don't get under, if you don't want to take it apart and make it your own, then you're not that into it, okay? It's a sign of somebody that's an enthusiast when they want to take your stuff apart and, and, and make it theirs. They want to personalize it. That's a, a, that's a compliment. Um, anyway, so um, I'm going to show you something right now. Maybe uh, not many people have seen. Okay, right here, what we got is a 3.7i. Okay, so these are... These are my speakers, the 3.7i's, and it's kind of hard to see from the glass, but, um, okay, so we got three parts. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this. Okay, yeah, kind of, there we go. Okay, so three parts. You got the, the, the tweeter. It's easier to see down here. Got the ribbon tweeter, okay, the 60-inch ribbon tweeter. We got the panel, which is the whole magna panel thing right there. That's the magnetic thing. And then here's the frame, okay. Um, it's pretty simple. This is a piece of a metal cage basically that goes around here it's got two see those strips um the magnets those two things there's one there and one there the magnets go all the way down um and then that that foil is is right in between them um and it, and it just ever so precariously uh sits in there um and you can see whoops where are we there we go we did a repair on that just to see if it worked um and and and, and so that 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 is the tweeter this is the most amazing tweeter you have ever heard um, the the bandwidth on this thing is incredible and it's so good sounding um, they're really magical um, I love them and um, so that's a tweeter here's the panel here's the special special unique thing um, and this is kind of cool I mean it's look at this thing it's like you know an eighth of an inch thick basically or uh, yeah that's like an eighth or something it's small um, it's really thin um, it's 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 something else, okay? And so how this works is on the back here, we've got a steel plate, okay? You can see it's kind of like, it's like it's just sheet steel, like a, 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 a you know, sheet metal. Um, and, uh, and, and this thing goes all the way down, right? And it's got little holes perforated in it to let air through. So when that membrane moves back and forth, it can puff the air out and it doesn't, you know, it, it, it doesn't impede its movement. And then we got a little tape there for damping. Like I'm guessing that sort of not let so much air out um, for whatever reason. And then here's the front. Okay, and so on this side is the membrane made out of mylar. And, um, and then these little things are foil. See how they, they've been so nicely hand uh, bent over. Um, and then they go right to the end where the fast-ons are, where they, you know, you plug into each driver. Well, one of them is the mid, and one of them is the the, the sub. You can see the sub has the space in between them. They're the, the wide ones, and then there's uh, the mid range is where they're close together. Um, and then they put these uh, like button things that they anchor down that go in between the mid and the um, and the base. And then there's a couple that are off here. It's just a way for them to tune it and and, and keep the frequency response more linear, I suppose. Um, and you can see the green stuff, that's green glue, that's the, uh, you know, stuff that you use for anti-vibration. Um, that's pretty smart. Um, the stuff on the edge, on the rim, that's mine, dynamat, crap, you know, whatever, black hole stuff that I put on there. Um, but essentially, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing to me that, that, uh, that such sound comes out of such simple raw materials, you know? I mean, it's just a little bit of foil, you know, some mylar, which is a thin plastic membrane. Um, some sheet metal and some magnets. Um, the magnets in here now are um, they're in between. Okay, so you can see them. They're 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 in between each of these. Okay, and then they go down all the way down. And so there there's like a magnet in here. There's one in there. There's strip. There's strip magnets as wide as this black as the solid piece is. That's where the magnets are. Okay, and then <clears throat> over here we've got a frame which is MDF. <sighs> Um, and it's CNC routed out, but um, it's, it's not as strong as, as wood, so there's these little flat pieces of, of sheet, of, of also of steel, you know, just um, like galvanized steel, little uh, pieces that are, are, there's one here, there's one on the other side, and they put, um, there's one here, 
and there's one on the other side and that's to keep these things a little bit more rigid so that teamed up with these okay these are cro these cross members help keep the panel rigid so it doesn't torsionally twist and so those little um, see how they hang over the edge here they go right into these little pockets right here and then they come in afterwards like a picture frame and they hit it with a staples tut, 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 all the way down it holds it in there and then you um, these things come uh, the, the, the fast ons end up right here and then the little leads come off and then they build a crossover right in here which is um that's why it uses i i asked well how come you use so many uh uh caps instead of one big one and it was like it didn't dawn on me at the time well because you can't get them fat here man they got to be little um um, and so anyways, uh, so that's, that's where the crossover goes. And then of course, once these things are put in this, the tweeter goes in this slot, it comes from the back. Um, and then once that's all put together, then they wrap it in some fabric, um, and, and some, uh, and, and some nice, you know, painted wood or, or, or aluminum or whatever. And they, they look kind of cool, um, uh, in, in the end, but that's what's what a magnum pan is, man. It's really, it's really pretty simple and it's, it's, it's really pretty, um, it's definitely very effective. So, um, that's what the things look like now. Okay, so Magnapan is a master at getting something that sounds super good at a, a really low price, right? They're, they're, that's their whole shtick. Their whole thing, you can tell from this build, is to trim out any expense so it's not expensive. Now, what this says to me is that they're really committed to you, the user, because they are breaking their neck to make this thing as affordable as they possibly can for you. Like uh, another company that maybe wasn't so committed would just make it, and we, you know what, just charge them what we need to charge them. If it costs us that much, just do it, but not Maggie. Maggie has gone to extreme lengths to make sure that they get the cost down on this so they can bring the savings to the customer, and that is pretty darn cool in my book. So again, this is how you look at something. We're, we're going to be talking a lot of, as I, as I sort of, hope to teach you um, about how to, how to determine the value of some of this hi-fi stuff. What, what, what I see here is a completely proprietary build. There is no modules here. There is no anything that's pre-made. This is all raw materials. Maggie has, you know, they cut these things, they perforate them, whatever they do. I don't know if, you know, maybe they buy perforated metal and that's about, you know, as, 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 as far as the prefab goes but um i mean this is all put together you look at this thing here and this is all of their own doing so it's 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 really and into the, the fact that it's made like this with these these metal pieces like they are doing everything they can to bring you the best price so that's pretty cool um that's why i always like maggie because i thought they were really really just a bargain no matter what even at full price total bargain especially the new the little guys little guys are 695 bucks okay so where was i going before i was just going to say to get it to those price levels there's some things that you know i as a, a you know if i was going to bulk them up build them up make them super strong what you know this thing can be a little bit flimsy you know it's it's very tall with the little feet it kind of can rock back and forth if you go up to it and you push it and it's going to go back and forth like this that means when you've got the energy from the sound energy pushing back like that it's going to move the panel oh, such a slight little bit but that's taking energy from music that should be in the room it's being taken up in moving the the the, the, the panel so we want to eliminate that by making a rigid panel so i did something that is just we thought up last night, okay? Um, we went ahead and we cut up some. We, we made some of our own out of some nice ply here, you can see. And um, <clears throat> what we're going to do, what we're going to do, I was going to make all brand new baffles. <clears throat> but this was so much simpler and so much quicker that I just couldn't resist. So um, these pieces here, this thing here, we will clamp and glue these. And we'll glue them down and we'll get them nice. And yeah, that locks your, your, your you can't really pull out your pulling out your panel if you ever want to pull the panel out which i don't know why you would but if you ever do be a little trickier it's going to you know um do this with used you know with used ones uh that you find a good deal on and and it'll certainly i mean it'll it'll, it'll really make them a lot sound a lot better and we'll see we'll sample them i mean yeah, after i'm done okay so what else i'm gonna do because this is so deep you know it's it's a double deep so it's a one inch and a half instead of three quarter I'm going to put a waveguide on here. I'm going to angle this thing. I'm going to see if I can get a wider image off this Maggie by doing a waveguide, you know, just like you see a horn. So it's going to be a little V. There's going to, this edge will be taken up. That one too. I'll get a router in there. We'll make it nice and smooth. I'll do it on, on, on here too. Um, and then um, you know, I'll have, figure out how I'm going to get some fabric that I'll stretch because that panel is too unsightly. It's going to be gorgeous. And then on the edge, get this sanded. I'll put some sort of edge cap and make that look nice. 
um, and then um, and then get a nice rigid frame like the the for the um, for the back of this thing the arms well, I'll start some arms up about here you know and you can see how far that is and then they're gonna go all the way down to the back of the stand so when you come up to push this thing it's not gonna move it's not gonna move at all um, so that is what the, where the Maggie's are. That's why we've got those crazy live speakers in there now, is because um, they're they're just stand-ins while we get the Maggie's done. Um, this uh, the parts here are patiently waiting, um, and we will um, get this done between tonight and tomorrow. What by the time the weekend's out, uh, we will have uh, the Maggie modded uh, 3.7 eyes. So uh, thanks for joining me, and uh, have a good one. Talk to you guys later.